happy Sunday video. Um, I'm here nursing the baby, so if you hear her sniffling, it's because she was crying, because babies cry. Um, today's video, oh, I'm going to tell you all about why the mo number one most common piece of parenting advice that people give you is total BS and super annoying to boot. So, first I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, we had the baby at the hospital in, like, she was born just before noon, just after noon, around noon, um, on a Monday, and I believe it was Tuesday afternoon that, um, that this story happened. So between the baby being born and Tuesday afternoon, we had been, the family had been there, my parents, his parents, um, been, you know, feeding the baby every two hours, changing the baby's diaper, all the excitement. Uh, the first night we kind of forgot that we were supposed to like sleep at night um, until it was really early. And then of course, you know, just trying to sleep at night is not hard. We had gotten very little sleep in the last 24, uh, 36 hours, something like that. My, um, we had some visitors who came by and you know, all the goodwill in the world. They were, you know, they, they were very sweet. Um, but I was sitting there, they were holding the baby and I was like, okay, this is an opportunity. They're here to see the baby. They're not here to see me. That's fine. Um, I don't have to feed the baby right now. She's happy. I'm going to close my eyes. Um, and a couple minutes later, I, you know, there were, the visitors were chatting and whatever, and one turns over to me and says, Rebecca, aren't you tired? And I just had to roll my eyes like, yes, of course I'm tired, but you're here. Like, I can't sleep um, when there's people here in the room talking. And, you know, they weren't trying to be mean or anything. It's just basically all I have to say. When you have a newborn, people say, sleep when the baby sleeps to you all the time and oh my gosh it gets so frustrating <laughs> because it, it just ignores all I mean everyone knows this it ignores a lot of really basic things like sure you sleep when the baby sleeps but what are you supposed to eat when are you supposed to go to the bathroom like do you ever get to shower there's so many things and I'm not even just talking about housework even if you ignore the fact that dishes need to be done and laundry needs to be done every other day when you have a baby um, it's just sleep when the baby sleeps ignores anything in your life that makes you more than just a baby, you know, and even that babies eat. Um, so there's just so much laundry and the advice is so trite. Like, are you actually going to be there to feed me when the baby's eating? Um, are you going to be at my house helping me clean and helping me, you know, do all the different chores I need to do so that I can sleep? And even if you are, you know, cleaning the house and finding time to do the laundry, you very quickly, when you have a newborn, start to stop feeling human um, because it's all you're doing is just surviving. Because the baby's needs are so basic, your needs become so basic. Those first two to four weeks are really trying on your sense of self and your sense of like being an adult. Um, and so you really do need to do something for yourself, whether that's just stepping outside for a few minutes and taking a deep breath, leaving the house. If you have the opportunity, it makes you feel so much more human. Um, and a lot of that is worth being exhausted just so that you can, you know, stave off you get the baby blues no matter what, stave off postpartum depression even, just by feeling more human. And then the thing is, even when I do try to sleep when the baby sleeps, um, I, for whatever reason, found myself having like insomnia for the first time in my life, um, where I would lay down and be so worried about the baby or just be so wound up from everything going on and all the new experiences in my life. I couldn't go to sleep right away. And so you, you put the baby down for a nap, she falls asleep, you put her down, you lay down yourself, and she wakes up 20 minutes later, and you barely started to doze, and you feel, wake up feeling even more exhausted than you did when you laid down. Um, and that's even if you can get the baby to lay in the crib in the first place, because they hammer into your head all the safe sleep practices, and you definitely don't want to be the reason your baby dies of crib death. So... 
you know, if the baby is asleep in the swing or in your arms, you're not allowed to sleep. Um, and sometimes that's the only place the baby will sleep. So it's just so frustrating when people keep telling you to sleep when the baby sleeps and you can't even. So I started to realize that it's not actually advice. People give it, some, some of the people who give it may think they're giving advice, but only because that's what they've heard other people say. And really, if you just start to experience it as a sound that people make around new mothers, it's like they, they make cooing sounds around new babies and they make the sound that goes, sleep when the baby sleeps around new mothers and you start to experience it as a sound and ignore it. And just realize that it's what people say. Like, our pediatrician, or no, it wasn't the pediatrician herself. I think it was one of the nurses. But, like, at the, the pediatrician's office, actually said it to us. Like, do you think no one else... Like, people honestly don't think that they're the only person in the world who's told you that advice. It's just they feel like they have to give advice for some reason. Like, why? If you haven't had a kid, don't give advice. If you haven't had a kid and, you know, or taking care of a baby in 10 years or more, like, leave the advice to the people who have. Because I'm seeking out new mothers who know what they're doing. Like, you don't have to be the one giving advice. I have people in my life for that. But the good news is that sort of insomnia and inability to get any rest and chronic fatigue it really only lasted, like I said, two to four weeks, something like that. You start to get into a routine. You start to get better at reading your baby's signals and things just get a little bit easier. You're able to, um, you know, take shifts overnight and, um, with, you know, your, your significant other or whoever else is there. And you find ways of coping, um, and I think you just get used to having less sleep also. And so, just, yeah, it's not it's not a routine, and it's not predictable, but it's just a little bit easier to take those naps when you have the opportunity to, or at least to function without them. Um, but basically, if you are not the mother in this situation, and you're watching this video, maybe you have a pregnant person in your life, or a new mother in your life, I would very much encourage you, don't give advice, ask questions. Like if you have actual advice, like if you care for a young child, then like be like, oh yeah, commiserate, be with them and that like, oh, I remember what that was like, you'll get through this. For me, it was better by this many weeks. That's great. If you don't have advice to give, ask questions because uh, I find it, pregnancy questions were annoying. Because it was always, how are you feeling, was the extent of it. And I would have to come up with something when everything was fine. That's a different topic. But baby questions, I can go all day. Ask things like, what was the baby's latest, you know, what, what is he learning how to do? Or, you know, how long is she sleeping is always a really trite one. But usually there's something to say there. Basically, you know, babies are always learning new things and there's a brand new thing every week so if you were to ask me oh what's she learning this week I'd be like oh she's learning how to suck on her hands she is starting to rotate around in the crib which is hilarious we lay her down one way and then she's like turned 90 degrees by the time she wakes up to eat um so that's a lot more fun so that that's what I would say if if you have to come up with small talk around a new mom they're gonna start talking about their baby whether you ask or not so you can also ask about her um but yeah, if you want to ask about the baby or if you want to talk about the baby, don't tell her that she's failing because she's not getting enough sleep. Just ask her to tell you about all the things that she's winning at. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye.